Perfect. All right, so once again, just the, the materials that I've got laid out for myself. I've got a cup of water, my two brushes, big brush and little brush. I've got plenty of paper towel nearby and I've got my paints. I will have lots of white paint to work with and just a little bit of black, blue, red, and yellow. If you have um, other colors, that's great, okay? Um, you might have purple, you might have brown, any, any of those colors can help, help us out here. But I only have white, black, and then the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So that's what I'm going to use, all right? So I'm just going to get my blank canvas on here, all right? Make sure that this is a, in a good place on camera here. All right, all right, let's grab, grab your big brush and hold it in the air so I know you're ready. Awesome. It looks like we're pretty much 100% ready. So let's, let's get started here. All right, so I am going to grab my big brush. I'm gonna grab some white paint with that big brush. And our first step, nice and easy. We're just gonna cover the whole thing in white paint. Now you don't have to go too heavy. So kids, keep an eye on your grownups that they're not, they're not going too too heavy. I see a hand up. Does somebody have a question? Julia, can you unmute yourself to ask your question? Um, when you mean the whole can, what do you mean the whole thing? Do you mean like paint the whole canvas? That's a great question. I'm going to paint the whole um, flat part here. I'm not going to paint the edges. Um, but that's that's just me. Some people like to paint the edges, but I'm going to go from top to bottom, from left to right, so this whole rectangle has white paint on it. Molly, did you have a question? Why do we have to cover the whole thing with white? I love that. these questions. That is such a good question. So how weird is it that we're covering a canvas that's already white in white paint, right? Well, actually, if we look at our, our goal here, this painting is very, very light, kind of like pastel-y. And the way we do that is by starting with a base of white paint and what that will do is that will help us do one of my favorite things in painting, which is blending. So whenever we have a nice white base, that means I can start blending with colors on top. So I'm so glad you asked that question because we do wanna make sure we have enough paint on here that it stays a little bit wet, right? Because if it stays wet, then we can blend, okay? So if you look at the um, original painting here, that, those blues in the sky are quite light, but my blue, my blue paint is really dark. And that's how we're gonna get that light blue because we're gonna blend. So um, what I'm gonna do right now, aside from knock my canvas over, um, I'm, I've got my big brush, right, that I've just painted all that white. What I'm going to do, I'm not even going to clean my brush. How about that? I want to keep all that white paint on there. And I'm just going to give a little tap into my blue paint. So I've just got a little, I say, technical term, smidgy smooch, just a little smidgy of paint on my brush there. And that means that I'm just going to have a very, very little bit of blue 
on my brush. And when I put it on that white paint, oh, isn't that cool? We get some nice blendy blues happening in there. So just that little smidgy smooch of blue on my white canvas and I get a nice blendy sky blue. My image is upside down, I'm told. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. To me, it is not upside down. Is it upside down for everybody else? And Jaya, I see you have a, your hand raised. It's Jaya. Jaya, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, um, what if our blue is too dark and it still comes out really, really dark? Do we put... Ujaya, you cut out, but I think your question is, what happens if your blue is still too dark, right? And that happens to me all the time, right? So if you look at your, at your canvas and you think, oh my goodness, there's so much blue, it's too much. What I would do is wipe off my brush with um, paper towel, so not with your bare hand, <laughs> but wipe off your brush with paper towel, and then you can kind of um, start wiping off some of that paint from the canvas and then you can add more white. So whenever I have a color that's really dark, I just say, okay, I'll just add more white paint to it. Okay. But I'm so glad you asked that question because your painting is going to look different than mine, right? And even my painting that I do right now is going to look different than this one. And even I did it. So your color might be brighter. Your color might be lighter. And it totally doesn't matter because everybody's painting is going to be different. All right. And yeah, uh, grownups, if you if you see anybody's hands go up and I miss it, please just just interrupt. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so I, I don't know how to troubleshoot if the painting looks upside down to you. Because um, it looks it looks like it looks okay to other people and it looks fine to me. All right, um, so how about that? We've got some blue in there, but I want to add, I want to add some of this purpley gray in my background because this purpley gray is kind of like a really, really far away mountain. Right, and I want to show that that mountain is really, really far away and light. So I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure that my white paint is still wet and I think we're good. But now instead of just a smidgy smooch of blue, I'm going to grab a smidgy smooch of red as well. So now I've got a little red and a little blue on my brush. And if I mix those together, on my little palette here, I'm gonna get a nice kind of lavender or, or purple. And I'm going to draw a line across my canvas. And that's, that's gonna be the bottom of my mountain. So again, I've got blue and red on my brush. I kind of mix it around in my canvas, my canvas, not my canvas, my palette, my little box here. Maybe you have a paper plate. And I draw this line across and that's where my mountain lives. And I'm just going to paint on top of that line, however big or small I want this mountain to be. And you'll see it's very, very light, right? That's because we have all of that white paint on the bottom. Here's some more white to mix. And what's really fun about th this kind of painting, and you, can, and you can play with this kind of painting if you have um, more canvas at your house or um, 
or really kind of anything you can paint on. But if you start out with all that white paint and then you just kind of add color on top of it and blend it in, kind of you get cool, pretty paintings no matter what we do. So I can even go up into my sky and start blending in some of that purpley color. I see Jaya's hand up again. Oh, you're muted, hon. There you go. Um, I wanted to ask you, should we also like blend it in, in the blue, like just like dabbing it? Just... Are you asking about like the way you do it with your brush? No, I'm like- Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Thank you to your camera, your camera person. <laughs> Should we like dab it, like kind of mix Yeah, it? I like that. I, that's a, um, Jaya is asking a great question. There's lots of different ways that you can blend, right? So you can kind of dab it, right? Almost like tapping, you can spread it, okay? And this type of technique that we do, or um, another word for technique is like a way to do it. And this way that we paint, there's so many different ways to use the brush. And that's what's kind of fun about painting. Like I can tap, tap, tap. I can smush around. It's really whatever you like to do, right? That's what's kind of fun about painting. It's, it's figuring out what you like to do. All right, so um, if I do a little touch test and um, you might wanna Check with your grown-ups if you can do a touch test if you don't want paint on your fingers. But I wanna make sure that my uh, ground, so we've done our sky, we've done our mountain, and now what's left is this ground. And I wanna make sure that's still damp with white paint. And I might need to go over that again. So I'm just gonna quick put on some layers of white. And because, because I still have that purpley color in my brush, I'm gonna get some of those streaks coming through. And that's kind of what I like. It doesn't matter if I still have that paint on my brush, because I'm gonna get these neat streaks coming through that's gonna kind of show us different kind of hills and valleys in that ground. And you can see that in the original here. I even have some blue down there, some more purple. So here's like a little bit of purple. Here's a little bit of blue. And that's gonna help make our ground look really kind of wintry. So now I've got that white paint back slathered on there. And I'm gonna grab another little smidgy smooch. Can we have a minute to catch up to you? Yes, thank you, absolutely. Yes, please, um, I should have mentioned that. Please slow me down. Um, it's hard to see where, oh, Julia has her hand up. Um, so mine doesn't really look like um, the mountains. It looks like, um, like it's like a sunset. Is that okay? Oh yeah, I love that. That's such a great question. So you're, you might not have a painting that looks like a mountain. You might have something that looks like a sunset or a different sky altogether. Ooh, very nice, yeah. Oh, I love painting because everybody will find that theirs looks like something a little bit different and everybody's gonna come up with their own. Yeah, let's do a little check. Let's, I can scroll through here and kind of look at your videos if you wanna hold up. Oh, I love everything that I'm seeing. Super fun, Ryan's got, got her hand up, I think. Oh, look at these paintings. Love it. Beautiful work. Ryan, you have a question, hon? Or maybe it's not. <laughs> um, I don't think mine look, looks like a light purple. It's like a dark, dark purplish pink. 
Yeah, let's see. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. That's such a cool color. And, and if you don't like that color, then you can always add white to it, right? But maybe you like that color and that's totally fine. I love um, all the different shades that we can kind of figure out together. Like there's so many different kinds of purples to make. There's so many different kinds of pinks to make. And this is, oh, I love all the paintings that you're showing. Um, and this is kind of a fun painting to kind of find different colors. Aubrey's got their hand up. And I'm, I'm, I hope these are your names and maybe your, your grown-ups names are on your Zooms, but yes. Yes, that is my name. Okay. <laughs> Does this look okay to you? Beautiful, yeah. You guys are doing an amazing job so far. I love all the different types of sky and purples and pinks and blues that we've got going on. Love it. Beautiful work. Beautiful work so far. All right, let me make sure my camera's on the canvas here. All right. So what I, what I was working on before is just adding, adding some more white to my ground. Um, and this is, this is another, uh, this is a painting where you can start figuring out like how, how long can I leave the white paint on before it starts to dry? How much paint can I put on um, with mixing? And I have a question in the chat that says, can it be more blue? Absolutely. It can totally be more blue, whatever, whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna kind of um, play around with adding some streaks of red and pink and blue to my ground. So much of um, when I paint, is just kind of seeing what happens, right? Like, oh, okay, so I have this, this canvas full of white paint. Let's see what happens when I, you know, um, add a little bit of blue and red together here. Oh, I get a lot of pink coming through over here. And that's, that's totally cool. I might wanna blend that in more, but when I paint, I just kind of like seeing what happens. It looks like I had, I saw a hand go up. Did I miss that? Let's see. Oh, Jaya, do you have your hand up again? question. Sure. Um, can we add, like, make it, like, kind of look like a sunset? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And if you want, um, you might have yellow paint. You might want to explore and, and practice with a little bit of yellow. Sometimes a yellow sunset can look really neat, too. So you've got all your paints there. I and kind of, oh, it looks like you've got some yellow there already. Yeah. Um, yeah, have fun with, with all those colors you have there. Thank you. So I'm just gonna pause a minute to let everybody catch up. The next, the next step that we'll do when everybody's ready is um, the trees. Does this look good? Oh, let me see. I got a scroll here to try to find you. <laughs> Let's see. Who, who said that? I'm trying to find your video. Aubrey. 
Aubrey, let me see. Aubrey, Aubrey, where is Aubrey? I see Kylie's. <laughs> Kylie's looks great. Viola, I, Aubrey, where are you? <laughs> Just clicking, clicking, trying to find you. Hmm. There you are, Aubrey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yep. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah. I kind of like put some red and blue and then some white and then red and blue and then tiny bit of yeah. white and it made that pretty yeah. color. Picture. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I, oh, Fallon's I see. Beautiful. Good work. Caitlin's got some awesome colors going on there. Beautiful. I see Ryan's got some really great colors. Yeah. Beautiful. Bella, awesome work. Josie, beautiful. Trying to take a peek at everyone's. <laughs> Awesome work, Shelly. There's two, two, two of Shelly in that box. <laughs> so I don't know who's who. <laughs> May, beautiful. Awesome work. Aubrey has her hand up. I would like to say that another day I have a huge canvas. Nice. Because I, I actually have four of them left and I wanted to paint a couple of a big one of this. Yeah, yeah. That's something that I like to do. Try, try a painting out on something small and then make it bigger. And then you can kind of do different things when you do it. When you I was gonna make a bigger, you know how I was gonna like make, use that big canvas to make a bigger one of this. Yeah, that would be cool. Have you ever painted that before? Painted this 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 painting before? Yeah. This the one you're looking at is the first the first one I ever did. Oh, you painted that. That's nice. I did. I did. And it was my first time painting a Girl Scout cookie. And this and then this is going to be my first time even painting that sort of a picture. Cool. I thought we were going to use a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> But we're not. No, I like painting without a pencil. Just get right to it. Me too. Yes, is every is there, Ellie's asking? Is everyone caught up? Can we can we go on to our trees now? How about you um, give me a thumbs up? Let's see how many thumbs up we get if we're ready to move on to trees. All right, I see a bunch of thumbs. I don't know if everyone's ready. So I'm gonna try to take it real slow, okay? So for my trees, all I'm doing is I'm taking some gray paint. So how do we make gray? Well, we're going to use a bunch of white and a smidgy smooch of black. So. I've got some white paint on my brush. And by the way, I haven't washed my brush yet um, because I like kind of keeping my brush full of paint and just seeing how different colors mix together on the brush. So don't be afraid of a, a brush that's still got paint on it. Um, and I'm going to uh, dip the corner of my brush into a little smidgy smooch of black. And that's gonna help control um, the gray that I'm making. And I can add just a little bit more at a time to see what I've got. 
Now, I'm going to use my big brush. You can use your little brush. You can use whatever brush you want. I like using a brush that I feel comfortable making like a straight line with, okay? So whatever brush you want to do, it's up to you. Um, and how about this? I'm going to start at the tippy top of my canvas and I'm holding my brush just like straight out, straight out. So you can see that the brush is coming right towards you on the camera there. It's because I'm holding it straight, straight down on the canvas. And I'm just going to hold down and I'm gonna stop in the ground somewhere about there. And then I'm gonna to try to fix this up because I want more paint on there. So there's my first tree. And you can make your tree as light or as dark as you want, right? Maybe, maybe your trees are really dark and you have lots of black in there. Maybe you want a very light tree. So you've got excuse, more white. Excuse me? Yes. Is this um, gray okay? Uh, let me, who, who's, who's asking? <laughs> I gotta find your video here. Aubrey. Aubrey again. Let's see. I think whatever you have should be great, but I will try to find you in a moment. Okay, Aubrey, hold, hold it up again. Oh, there it is on your brush. No, yeah, that's great. And I saw, I saw some other hands up. Um, I think Ryan had a question, maybe. Um, how do we make purple? Ooh, great question. How do we make purple? We take red and what other color? Shout it out if you know it. Blue. blue. Yeah, red and blue make purple. Blue. And blue, absolutely. So I've got that that sad, lonely tree tree trunk here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give that tree some branches. So I'm gonna start. Oh, I don't know, in the middle, and I'm just gonna pull right on an angle up towards the top of my canvas. And how about I I give him a little friend over here on the left and pull that up towards the top of the canvas. So again, I started with that straight down trunk, right? And then I went to one side and pulled up all the way to the top on the left and then pulled up all the way to the top. And if you want, you can even add branches that are on branches. But I'm always pulling up all the way to the top of the canvas. And I think this tree needs a buddy. So I'm gonna put a big trunk next to him. So again, I'm just gonna pull straight down into the ground. I don't really have, I have a really, really like big tree like that because I have a huge paintbrush and I don't have really tiny ones. So I really can't fit most, most of a buddy next to it. That's totally fine and that's, 
And that's such a great observation. If, if your brushes are big, maybe you don't have space for a buddy. And that's, that's totally fine. So we, we do whatever we can with the, the brushes and the materials that we have. Yes, Rebecca. My name is actually Molly and my, I'm using my mom's um, iPad. Okay, Molly, Rebecca. yes. And can we add Ness? Absolutely. I'm using my Ness tablet. Yeah, you can add a Nest, you can add whatever you want. I think Izzy, is it, did you have your hand up, Izzy? No, okay, Aubrey, your hand's up. Um, please, um, I have to get the painting. Is, does this look good? Yeah, oh, nice. I can, you've totally followed directions. I see your trunk and your branches sticking out to the top. Awesome work. Let's see, is anybody else showing theirs? Bella, awesome um, work. Love it. Oh, I see a hand. Ryan. Um, I'm, um, I'm mixing the colors on my painting and I tried to make a bird and it. I love it. A bird in the tree, right? I love it. Awesome work. Yeah. So I love how you guys are coming up with ideas all on your own. And that's, that's the other part of painting. That's so fun. So once you start painting, you're like, hey, I think a bird lives here, or I think a nest should be here. And, and that's, that's so cool, because every, every answer is the right answer. I'm going to add some more branches on this other guy over here. Excuse me, this is Drya. Um, I wanted to ask you, can we add, I mean, like other details? Absolutely. Like you I can add any details you want. I added a balloon. I love it. Yeah, you can add anything you wish. These are going to be so unique. Um, can you look at mine? Who, who's that? Emma. Emma, let me find you, Emma. I, I see Shelly's is looking great. Let's see. Emma, Emma, Emma. Where's Emma? I see Aurora. Ooh, very cool colors, Aurora. I live right next to Emma. <laughs> Let's see if I can find Emma. Josie, I love those colors. Looking good. I see Anna's. Where is Emma? This is like a game that I'm not good at. <laughs> There's Emma, there we go, very good. Beautiful, love all the colors and the trees. Ah, so I see I see a question on the chat. Absolutely, we can add, you can add as many trees as you want. In fact, I'm gonna put another tree over here. Another question that came in the chat is how do you make brown? Well, when you don't have brown paint, I always remember the words Christmas brown, okay? Because if we remember the colors for Christmas, we can make brown. And the colors that I think of for Christmas are red and green. So if we have red, good. If we have green, good. If we don't have green, then we can mix blue and yellow together to get green and add red. I'm gonna add another tree there. That might. I made a blue. I get covered with my add into my. I made a blue in like the same light blue, and I mixed white and light a dark blue in my one of my spots. I left to mix. I mixed it so I can make a little like more sky. Yeah, absolutely. 
I see um, Julia's got her. No, no. Um, so my question is, can you add a different animal than a squirrel? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I was wondering if this question would come up. You can do any animal you want. I was wondering, ooh, what kind of animals am I gonna see when I do this painting with the Girl Scouts? Are they gonna make chipmunks and bunnies and cats and dogs? I wonder what they're gonna do. Um, I think you had your hand too. Can I make a person? <laughs> totally, absolutely. There is no wrong answer when we paint, right? You can, whatever comes to your mind, you can do. I'm gonna draw my ferret. <laughs> Perfect, great idea. And I see yeah, you. Uh, I'm gonna draw a bunny. Can I start doing it now? Of course, of course you can. So I think we're pretty much ready to um, start our animals. So I'm going to, I'm going to go step by step um, with the squirrel, but you are free to do whatever animal you want. Um, I can try and help ask and answer questions. I see Jillian is asking me to look at her painting. Let me see if I can find you, Jillian. Jillian, Jillian, where is Jillian? Jillian, where are you? <laughs> there you are. Oh, I love it. Oh, we've got lots of things going on in Jillian's painting. Awesome work. Awesome work. Here's what my idea was based off of. What is your idea based off of? I mean, I, I feel like we're outside in a jungle or the woods. My ferret. It's your ferret. Awesome. All right. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go focus back on my painting so I can take anybody step by step through if they wanna do a squirrel, all right? So I'm using gray because I'm doing a gray squirrel, how about that? And I still got that gray that I've been doing with my trees, all right? And my squirrel kind of lives on the right side, okay? And we're, we're really close up with this squirrel. This is like, this, this is like a giant squirrel but that's because we're right up close to him. And I'm gonna start with his head, okay? Which I can start with a, you know, a circle to start with, but then I wanna, I wanna chub out his cheeks on either side. So I'm gonna chub out his cheeks. So I, again, I started with my circle for his head and then this, this squirrel has been eating all of the Samoas, just like I have. And those cheeks are just full of cookies. So we're gonna chub those guys out on the sides. And then I can just fill, fill that in. Okay. okay. And um, I'll, I'll I have over that again. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, is it okay um, if ours animals look like the ones we would usually draw like in everyday life like the ones we usually draw absolutely yeah everyone's got their own style you might have a a drawing that you like to do over and over again in your notebook or, or something like that i do a cat drawing all the time and i'm literally doing that cat drawing right now oh julia i love it All right, let me get back to my squirrel in case anybody's following along doing a squirrel. Mine. All right, so I've got that squirrel head. Now he needs a body. So I'm just going to kind of give him almost like an egg shaped body outline to start. That's just to start. And then he, then I want to show that he's got you know, bigger hips and legs coming out the bottom. So I'm going to bring those out too. And I can fill that in with gray. All right, so just to recap our squirrel, we did a circle for the head. We chubbed out his cheeks. 
Where's his eyes? He has to have eyes. He has oh, he to have eyes. He's blind right now. We're gonna give him some eyes. Um, and then for his body, I gave him like an egg shape going all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. And then I wanted to show that he has hips. So he's bigger on the bottom, right? So give him some hips. And then I just filled all of that in, right? And this, this squirrel, first of all, I think he needs to hear. So let's give him some ears. And squirrel ears are kind of really, really towards the edge, towards the sides of his head. And they're pointy little things. So skinnier, skinnier than cat's ears, smaller and skinnier. Although I think my squirrel looks like a cat right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna give him a nice fluffy tail and that's gonna make him look like a squirrel. All right, so for that, that fluffy squirrel tail, I'm just gonna do like um, zigzaggy, zigzaggy marks. Can you fall down? Yes, sorry. <laughs> I'll pause right here. I'll pause right here and again, recap what I did. I started with that circular head, chubby cheeks, egg, egg shaped body, gave him some hips, tiny little squirrel ears, and I filled that all in. Can you slow down? Yes, I'm stopping right here <laughs> so we can catch up. Oh, I love it, Shelly. Good work. Let me just scroll through here. Oh, wonderful. J Jody's phone. <laughs> Awesome work. Julia, I love it. Um, so those two black circles, the I'm not really good at drawing like painting like cookies, so those are what those are. Sounds good. Finley, love it. Oh, I see another balloon out there. Josie, awesome work trying to catch up and see everybody's. Oh, I love all these animals. I see Bella, Sophia, that's beautiful. All of these are beautiful, cute animals. Um, I tried to make brown, but I'm getting purple. Ah, if you're trying to make brown and you have something that looks like purple, if you add yellow, that will help. So if any of you are trying to make brown and you get stuck and you're like, this doesn't look like brown, this looks like a different color, then if you tell me what color it looks like, I can tell you the antidote um, that will help make it look brown. Oh, I love all, look at all these animals. Awesome work. Oh, these are so fun. Awesome, I see suns, I see sunsets. I see all kinds of animals. I see squirrels. Awesome work. Everybody's doing such a great job. Uh, what's the next step to the squirrel? Next I'm step to this. I'm done with mine. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm going to uh, move on to the squirrel's tail. And I'm using a, a zigzaggy um, stroke. So a super slow down version is like this, right? 
but I'm going faster than that. And I just want to make his tail look really fluffy. And I'm going to fill that in. Um, I'm trying to make brown, but it came out like, uh, I don't know what color that is, but. <laughs> can you, can you show me what color you've got? And then may, I can help. Yeah. It's and who's asking so I can find you on the video? Is yeah. That yeah. Okay, let's see what you got. Ah, uh, so that looks kind of greenish. So I would add some red, a little bit of red there. All right, so I filled in my squirrel's tail and I don't know if you've ever seen a squirrel's tail, but they kind of have like white tips on their tail. So in this painting, you can kind of see the white, it almost looks like they got frosting on their tails. So I'm gonna take some white paint on my brush and I'm just gonna add some little frosty white tips to this squirrel's tail. And you can kind of tap them on, you can paint them on. All right, so for my next step for my squirrel, if you're doing a squirrel, I want to add some darker gray to kind of help show that he's got some shadow and an elbow. <laughs> he's got little hands that's holding that, that cookie. So I want to add some shadow and you can kind of see some shadow over here too. So I'm going to I'm going to mix up a darker gray. Um I have a question. Sure. So when does it have to um be a Samoa cookie? No, that's a great question. It doesn't have to do do to be a Samoa. Um I did a Samoa cuz that's my favorite cookie. Um but you can do any cookie you want. You could do an acorn you can I did a thin mint. You did a thin mint? Awesome. Awesome. Can I do it where I draw Can I do it where the squirrel squirrel stealing a whole box of cookies? Yeah. <laughs> that would be great if a squirrel got their hands on a whole box. Can you show us how to draw the cookie? What? Um yeah, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish the squirrel and then I'm gonna do the cookie. Okay. Um, so with my, with my darker gray, excuse me. Yes. Uh, can you show us how to make this Samoa cookie? Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Samoa at the end. Okay. okay. I'm going to finish darker gray. I'm going to finish my squirrel first. So I've got my darker gray down here in my box in my paint palette here. And I'm going to start um, doing that zigzaggy pattern that I did on the tail. And I'm going to start um, showing us where the outline of this squirrel is and where his little elbow is. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Um, 
can we outline like the whole picture like when we're finished with black? You can totally do that if you want. Absolutely. Um, so again, I'm just outlining this little squirrel. And this right here is, is his elbow. So I'm going to give him another elbow over here. And I can start, well, I'll stop right there. I won't get too, go too ahead. I'm done. All right, I'm gonna go back into my tail and add a little bit of shadow in his tail with this darker gray color. Also with this darker gray color, I'm gonna give him two little hands and those are like two really small eggs side by side. Um, I'm not sure how long we've had we have on the zoom if there if there's like a limit, uh, but I, I am looking at the time so I, I have I have plenty of time but I want to make sure the moderators if we're. Um, Michelle if you're out there. Um, I set it up to go till 330 and okay. from what I understand unless we turn I turn it off it'll stay on until right. I shut off. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the the squirrel's eyes. Somebody said that he definitely needs eyes. I agree. And his little eyes, actually, he's got pretty big eyes. Um, they're kind of like little footballs on the sides of his face there. So yeah, squirrel's eyes are are almost on. Um, where our ears would be, right? They're almost on the side of their heads like that. And he also has got a little, little black nose, kind of like a dog nose, right? And you can add a little shadow inside the ears. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. And, and it's Aubrey again. Um, does this look good? Let me find you, Aubrey. I'm sure it looks amazing. Oh, look at your squirrel. <laughs> awesome. Question. Yes, who's asking? Julia. Julia, let me find you. Hold on. <laughs> 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 this is a game that I'm not good at. Julia. There you are, Julia. Yes. I actually have two. All First, right. First. Uh, does this one, did this look good? Oh, I love the color. It's like a dark purpley. I love and um second, can we leave the meeting if we want to? Can we what the meeting? Leave. Oh, leave the meeting. I think that's up to you, right? I I I'm not the boss here. <laughs> so if you're all done, you're you can you're free to leave. 
Great job, Julia. Bye. All right. Um, so let's do let's do this cookie. And then I, I totally forgot that we have snow falling. If we want to add snow, um, we can do that at the very at the very end. But all right, this this cookie. So I'm gonna do a Samoa. So my my goal is to make like a light brown for the, the cookie part and then a dark brown for the fudge stripes. So to make the light brown, um, I've got this gray stuff in my brush already. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move to my smaller brush. So what I'm going to do is wipe off that excess paint from my brush. I always like to wipe off paint on my um, paper towel first. That will extend the life of our cup of water and extend the life of our brushes as well. All right, so I'm gonna go to my little brush and I'm gonna start mixing a light brown. So I always think to myself, how do I make brown? Christmas brown, Christmas brown, I got red, and yellow and blue make green. So those primary colors all together are gonna to give me a brown. What I'm looking at here, you might not be able to tell, this looks kind of purpley to me, so that means I need yellow. So I'm gonna grab some yellow. So I get something that kind of looks like that caramel cookie of the Samoa. All right. And then I'm going to start with a circle. Because a Samoa is basically a circle, right? And But a Samoa is not a perfectly smooth circle, right? A Samoa's got those yummy bits of coconut on top. So it's kind of messy and textured. So I'm just going to tap, 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 tap my brush so I get kind of a textured look. So there's my little Samoa. By comparison, this is a giant squirrel compared to that Samoa. <laughs> Just a little Samoa. All right. So that's my, my cookie base. And now I'm gonna make the fudge stripes, which would be a darker brown. So I'm gonna use that same brown that I had and add a smidgey smidge of black, just a wee, to make a darker brown. So again, for that Samoa, if you're making a Samoa, I started with a circle and then to, to give it that texture of the coconut on a Samoa, I did a little tap, 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 tap. So it's not a perfectly smooth circle. And now I'm gonna add the fudge stripes in a darker brown. Mm, now I want a Samoa. Um, so mine didn't turn like out like how I kind of did it, but it, it turned out good. Um, good. Let's see. Oh, where'd you go? I lost you. Oh, I see Evelyn's. Let's see, Jaya, I'm trying to find you. <laughs> oh, I love them all. Let's Good work, everyone. Oh, wow, I'm impressed. There you are, Jaya. Awesome work. Thank you. Leah, do you have a question? How does this look? 
Oh, I love it. Now it's a little dark because you're in front of that window, but oh, that is so cute. I, I can tell it. you the story behind it. Yeah? What is the story? So this bunny, he has stolen a bunny. Oh, nice job, Bella. Oh, look at all these wonderful paintings. Do I have a question? Is this look good? Oh, I love them. You guys, I am so impressed. Um, oh, I, is, is this, this look good? Who's, who's, who's talking? Who's talking? Let me find you. Aubrey. I don't know why I can't recognize your voice anymore, Aubrey. Beautiful. Yeah. These um, are great. I, you guys are so talented. Evie, I love that. Aria, beautiful. Shelly, beautiful. Oh, I love, you guys are good at drawing Samoas. Um, when I put my brown on my canvas, now it looks like orange. So what do I do with my brown? Ah, so if you've got something that looks orange, you want to add a little, little smidgy of blue. Okay. You guys are doing an excellent job. And I think Jaya said something that I wanted to repeat for everyone, which is, it didn't come out the way I planned it, but it still looks good. And that's that happens to me all the time when I'm painting and making art or crafts, right? It's not it's not what I thought it was gonna be, but it still looks good. Um, Luxie, is that is that your name? Luxie, Lucy? That looks so cute. Awesome work. Um, I wanted to say that um, I now put the black stripes on. Yeah, the for the stripes. for, for the, the Samoa. Yeah, does this look good? Let me see if I can find ya. It's Aubrey again. It's Aubrey again. <laughs> I don't know why I can't hear your voice anymore. Let's see. I see Bella's. I see. there's Aubrey. Yeah. Oh, you're you guys. Your squirrels are so good. I'm so impressed with everyone. <laughs> And I see some of you have already added the, the little shiny um, white dot to the eyes. So yeah, absolutely. I wanna, I'm gonna take actually, yeah, my small brush, dip it into some white and give a little shimmer inside the squirrel's eyes, just a little tap of white, okay? And then what I like to do is also with my small brush, I like taking the back end of my brush. Um, you can kind of see it's covered in dried paint. Um, and I like using that as like a stamp and I can start popping down snow falling. Little dots of snow here and there. Make sure you wipe the back end of that brush. And I can even go use my big brush because I get nice big old fat snowflakes with this, the back end of this brush and just stamping little dots of snow here and there and everywhere. As a finishing touch, if you if I look closely at my original painting, this squirrel's got like little nails, little itty bitty nails on his paws on the front. So that's a little detail that you can add. So I can take a little bit of black paint and just give him some little toenails, fingernails. I'm almost done painting my ferret. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's right here in my hand. Right here in my hand, she says. I finished making my my bunny's um, burrow, and so um, I made a second bunny, and now I don't know what to paint. So what do I do if I like think I'm, I'm doing good? If you're if you're doing good and you're done, then 
um, that that would be a wrap for you, and you can you can um, leave the Zoom. But I do want to see your painting before you leave. Yeah. I'm done, so I'm gonna hold oh. mine. So yeah, if if anybody is done, why don't you hold it up, and I'll I'll take a a look through them all. Yeah. So my my blue Oops. collared bunny is Luke and Sam. Sam is my best friend, and her brother is Luke, so they're brother and sister bunnies. With their little look brothers. at these. These are so good, you guys. I am so impressed with you. Can you please see my painting now? I, I'm looking at them all. So I have everybody in gallery view now, which means I can see everybody's video at the same time. And they look so good. So do you see mine now? I do. These are amazing. I love how different they are. Ooh, those Samoas look good. Now I'm finishing painting my ferret. I see kitty cats. <laughs> I see squirrels. Um, can I leave the no. meeting now? You are, I think you are free to leave the meeting whenever you are done. But Thank I'm you. a boss. So maybe check with the boss. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Beautiful. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Beautiful work. Can you look at mine? I'm looking at them all right now and they look beautiful. And if you're leaving, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, bye -bye. look at these. Look at these beautiful paintings. Beautiful, Mabel. Awesome. Good job, Josie, Jody, Bella. Leah, Leah, have you a question? Goodbye, thank you. Thank you, Leah, good job. Thank you. You're welcome, Bye. everyone. Thanks for having me, good work. Thank you so much. Absolutely, good work. Bye. Look at all those animals. I love that, Mia. Good work. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good job. Tessa, that is so good. Good work. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome, Mia. What is this? I love it. Whatever it is I'm looking at, I love it. <laughs> what a team. What a team. I love it. Good job, bud. Good, good work. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jackie. I think everybody had a wonderful time. Oh, and I'm so glad. Thank you so much for having me. All right. We're going to go ahead and end the call then. Are you Alrighty. ready? You end the recording. Bye bye, everyone. Thank yes, you. Thank you, Jackie. Bye, guys. Have a good bye. day. Bye.